Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alvin, I'm a part-time reseller here in Singapore. And in today's video, if you clicked on it, <laughs> well, short and short is I do pick stuff that you sell on Carousel and many other places like Facebook Live and some other auction houses in Singapore. And I pick, and pick them and I sell them on eBay for profit. This is not me bragging about it. This is just to me showing you that some of the platforms in Singapore generally don't do well when it comes to selling. It's a hassle. And I believe some of you do realize that uh, when it comes to selling in Singapore, especially your secondhand goods. And in my video, there's, uh, I've taught you how to sell on eBay, how to set up an eBay account. And today's video is just me telling you the products that can sell on eBay. And for this month, like for real, uh, in December alone, uh, out of like 58 items that I sold, 30 over items are actually resold, bought from you guys, like you guys, um, and resold on eBay for profit, of course. And yeah, it's pretty amazing how, what you can find on Carousel and Facebook Live, while you sell for cheap where you basically should have sold on eBay instead and for those that are pricing your products as eBay prices on the various platforms you're never gonna get it at that price I mean there are like maybe the 1% or less than 1% items that you can get it but to be very honest with you do set up an eBay account if you wish to lah. I mean that's fine dandy if you want to sell it at a loss. I've done it before. I've sold it at a loss before. But those that you should sell on eBay because of the eBay price, sell it on eBay. So anyway, this is just a few examples of the 32 items on, in December. I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm, there's a few categories. One is games, statues, and action figures. Yeah. And these are they, there are also a few subsets to it. So let's get right to it, shall we? The first category that I'm going to share with you is games. Games, especially Nintendo Switch games, um, because of the region and the way Nintendo and some of the publishers, they sell in different regions and some regions don't get the, the, the games. I, I have no idea why. Uh, because they want to sell it digitally on, in, like in US and then in Asia, they have it in physical. The physical games do tend to have value and the two that I've sold within December are Final Fantasy World of Vexima and the other one will be uh, Code of Princess these two uh, I made a profit about I mean my, my buy cost is about 40 50 Singapore dollars uh, some maybe the max I'll go is 60 Singapore dollars and I sold it about 100, 100 US dollars or 90 US dollars, then the bare minimum. Then I'll get back about 30, 30, 30, sing, 30 Singapore dollars. So, I mean, for what it's worth, um, reselling in Singapore isn't as deep or as cheap as US, Australia, or even UK for that matter. But um, for what it's worth, if you can double up your money or even have some percentage margin to it, why not? And yeah, these two uh, games sold for me in December. The next category will be steelbooks. Steelbooks that come with the Nintendo Switch specifically. Those two, like for instance, the Pokemon Sword and Shield uh, steelbooks that I bought for like buy cost of about one one piece, about 10 Singapore dollars. So I bundled it as a set. I bundled it uh, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield at 20 Singapore dollars. I sold it at 54.99. Uh, the shipping, there's plus shipping too. So the shipping, if you don't even factor that in, I'm in a profit about 30 Singapore dollars. Uh, and of course, this the, the, the big one was the Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion, I bought it from Carousel itself. My buy cost was about 15 Singapore dollars. And I sold it for like, uh, consistently about 50, 54, 55 uh, US dollars. So again, you're profiting more than double your money. It's worth. The next category will be statues. Statues um, that are various sizes, various weight too. And 
I'd be very honest with you, the bigger they are, the harder they fall <laughs> in terms of prices and pricing for statues. If you're buying into Sideshow, one quarter statue, XM Studios, you're never going to get the pricing uh, you can you bought at previously. And I had the hard time selling mine. I can click on here that I sold some of them that are less than 200 Singapore dollars, even though I bought them way, way more expensive. It is what it is. Um, if you're selling locally, of course. Of course, if you sell uh, on eBay, you might get a slightly higher price. But as statues goes, there's way too many um, companies making them. So if you're buying to resell later, you're not going to get it. But statues with a smaller size, like for instance, the Kotobukiya Bishoju range, because the range, the, 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 the line keeps on expanding, it's been 10 years worth. And they don't really flood the market with the same uh, characters. Of course, there are a few that they will re-release in a different pose. But for now, those figures that have been long uh, retired or done with, there are many collectors that will go back and rebuy them at the secondary market because they're not releasing them anymore. And one of them will be the Star Wars Mel Jade that I bought uh, on Carousel. I bought this at, uh, I think it was 160 Singapore dollars. And I sold it for 320 US dollars. So, of course, with the fees and everything, I'll take it as one to one. And it's going to be like, uh, I'll double my money, basically. So, that's one. Uh, the other one would be loose figures that I have. Uh, it's pretty simple. If you can check the com, sales com on eBay and it's worth your while, you should sell it on eBay. Like for instance, this she hawk that I bought. I bought it at a premium. It was loose in packaging. The packaging was trash. <laughs> and I bought it at 85. But I still doubled my money. I sold it for 150 odd US dollars. So... For that thing for that it's I doubled my money. Uh I mean close to that, but you get what I mean. The last category will be action figures. Action figures, it's a little different. Um if it's I mean it's also based on the company that make them. Lately, of course, if it's Hasbro or Mattel, the the latest figures, I tell you very frankly, there's no collectability in them. Maybe down the road there will be, but they're flooding the market like crazy with so many figures down uh, along the pipeline. Uh, I'd rather, if you're buying it solely to flip, you're not going to get any. Uh, you've seen so many uh, eBay, for instance, those eBay uh, YouTubers, they are they also not really buying into those. Action figures, they, they come in different sizes, of course. There's also the one six scale and then the 6-inch scales. The 6-inch scales, for instance, I bought this Spider-Man, this Scarlet Spider. I bought it off uh, a, a person from Carousel, or was it Facebook Live? I think it was Facebook Live. I bought it at 40 Singapore dollars. But I flipped it. I flipped it at uh, 70 US dollars. Uh, it was not really uh, doubling up my money, but I still get some profit out of it. Then you have those that's 1-6 scale. 1-6 scale it's a hit and miss. A lot of figures are uh, deteriorate over time because of the, the material they use, like you know, it's just hot toys and everything. Those also are very expensive to begin with. But the older Sideshow 1-6 figures, um, it depends on property also. Like for instance, this Jason Voorhees that I sold at 200 US, these can sell because it's a horror theme. The horror themes in Singapore don't really sell well. But in US, it's a property that a lot of uh, buyers, a lot of US uh, collectors do collect them and they still sought after because they're not making them anymore. Uh, so yeah, I, my buy cost was like 50 Singapore dollars and I sold it at 200 US. So that's the you know, tip for that. You, you get, you get, you still profit. And then you have uh, the older action figures, like not really action, those figures that don't really move, like for instance, Cops Right. Again, cost right is a mainstay in eBay. You can still sell them for a premium. And I bought mine at a premium. Like, for instance, from Carousel, I bought the cops right. You can see them. It's like 50 Singapore dollars each. 
but I still can flip them at 100 US dollars. So at 100 US dollars, it's still doubling up my money. And then they, the, the buyer still pays shipping. So, and then if you factor shipping, I still make a bit because um, I do a flat rate shipping across the board. My max will be to US. And then if there's some other buyers in the other countries that buy off me, it's still at that rate. So I still earn some profit out of it. There you have it. I buy your carousel items to flip on eBay. And if you're feeling a tad bit of, um, how do I put it? If you're not getting your money's worth selling on carousel, make the switch and post it on eBay. I have a full guideline, a full guide on how to set up your eBay account. Uh, it's pretty, once you get the hang of it, you you, you know how to sell. I, I'll be honest with you. And if you like this video, do give me a thumbs up. Do share this video uh, to your friends that who are thinking of selling. And then you're thinking that carousel isn't worth your while. Then, yeah, share with them. And do subscribe to my channel because in 2022, I'm going to go full out and post as frequently as I can. And yeah, take care everyone. I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.